you know, loading up on bodies, you know, okay, they're three stars. So a lot of people across the nation might say, oh, you know, just, just how big of a splash is this? But this is this is building the depth, right? And again, because Lincoln Riley and Alex Grinch are much better at developing players compared to Clay Helton, you know, you, you bring in all these three stars, but if you develop them well, if you coach them well, you might be getting a four-star caliber player when it's all said and done. And so if you build depth and you get all these pieces, you get so many more chances to augment your roster. So like no one should be worried that, you know, the, the splashier five stars haven't yet come in, but that's where the USC's past recruiting weekend came in that, that uh, almost 30 prospects on hand. And you're also seeing some of USC's top commits like Zachariah branch, the wide receiver for 2023. He's going to be joining his brother Zion, who's a safety already in the fold for 2022. You're seeing them recruit the other top five stars, linebackers, defensive linemen, edge rushers. Uh, and so you're seeing the freight train uh, beginning. And it's not going to be too long before you're going to see the four stars, the five stars coming in. But right now you're seeing this nice foundation, lots of depth pieces at the three-star level on both sides of the line of scrimmage. And, you know, USC rolled out the red carpet for its recruits this past weekend. You had the salute to Troy, very big, you know, Hollywood presentation. It was called the golden hour. Uh, Annie Hansen, part of Lincoln Riley's ops team coming over from Oklahoma to USC, you know, put on the big production. Like, you know, so she's in the production business and recruits really seem to love it. And so, so this is all building the foundation. You know, Lincoln Riley is finally getting this full recruiting cycle, which he didn't have the benefit of coming in in late November, as he did for the 2022 cycle. He had to scramble. And of course, he had to use the transfer portal a lot more. Now you're seeing USC with a full recruiting cycle, being able to map out a complete plan, being able to put out a, a full show for all these official visits in the month of June. You're beginning to see that groundswell. You're beginning to see uh, the program, you know, really showing what it's capable of in recruiting. You know, you haven't seen, you know, several big fish officially commit, but it's, it's hard to think that USC won't get its significant share of top tier five star level talent. It's just a matter of time.